President Mike Pence promising the U.S. will return to the moon by 2024. It is the stated policy of this administration and the United States of America to return American astronauts to the moon within the next five years. Well, joining me to discuss how this would be one giant leap for America is Texas Congressman Randy Weber. Thank you so much for joining us so early this morning. Good morning, Heather. Thank you. So, you know, this is no doubt exciting. Uh, why is this so important? Well, you know, it's been uh, a long time since John Kennedy said in 1962, we choose to go to the moon, not because it's easy, but because it's hard. Of course, he said that, as you know, from Rice University in Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. Uh, it invigorates America. Uh, the contributions that NASA makes in the way of discoveries uh, and inventions that it has helped with. And it helps kids be interested in STEM education, uh, to have a goal. It, it actually helps Americans to feel proud to lead the world. And, and I would argue, Heather, that it also helps us even militarily because uh, there's no higher ground than space. And we want to be in control of space. We want America to be that leader. And so I think five years is quite doable. Uh -huh. I have to ask you about this, though. We were just talking about Betsy DeVos and the Department of Education. A lot of departments dealing with budget cuts right now. Uh, mm -hmm. So why should more money be put into the space program? Well, you, you, this is a priorities that Congress sets. And, of course, as you know, right now the Democrats are in control of the House. And so this is something that we will look at. And always we make trade-offs as to what's important, what our priorities are. And as I said earlier, this has uh, unbelievable implications for America. Be the space leader, have Americans something to rally around. My gosh, we ought to be able to work together on this and infrastructure just for, as a sidebar. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's important for America. I think it's important for Congress to come together, set those priorities, and do the important things. And I will tell you that space exploration is important. Yeah, I remember back in the day being in school, and everybody would pause, and they would turn on the TVs, and everybody would watch, you know, a launch that would go mm -hmm. off. Now, these days, I don't think that that happens so much in school anymore. Well, it may not. Maybe that's part of the reason we need to go back. We need to make this a priority. Mm -hmm. I, I think you're going to see America get reinvigorated, and it does have a national security implication. We want to be the leader. It helps us with our economy because, as I said, there's a lot of things that NASA has been instrumental in that have helped us. So I, I think you're going to see it uh, doable. I think you're going to see us get behind it, and I think you're going to see it happen. Yeah, you keep referencing the space wars. We heard about that just you know a, a couple mm -hmm. months ago in reference to what Russia is doing, trying to take over uh, that area. So it is actually a legit concern. Well, absolutely it is. You're aware of, I'm sure, the Chinese are able yes. to shoot down our satellites. And so uh, military commanders will tell you that in any conflict, whoever occupies the high ground has the ultimate hand. And there's no higher ground than space. It's just that simple. Okay, but something that was disappointing, though, this uh, all-female spacewalk that was canceled because we're being told the spacesuit doesn't fit. Uh, shouldn't they have checked that before? What's going on here? And will we try well, again? Uh, well, uh, yes, we will try again, I'm sure. Uh, and I will add that Christina Cook lives in Galveston, I'm told, in my district there mm -hmm. in Texas. And so we're very proud of that. A lot of stuff goes into that spacewalk, Heather, as you may be familiar with. A lot of training. They train at Johnson Space Center in NASA, which is at technically one mile north of my district down in the Houston area. But absolutely, they get ready for it. But look, you got to give Miss Ann uh, kudos because she went out there and she decided Anne this McClain. wasn't. Yes, yeah. ma'am. She decided this wasn't safe. It wasn't safe for her. It wasn't safe for the crew. It wasn't the best for the mission. She needed to make a call, and she did it. She, If you will pardon the pun, she made a call on the fly. Yeah, she said and, it was based on her recommendation. She made yeah. the right call, so absolutely. All right, Congressman Weber, thank you so much. Uh, exciting stuff ahead for sure in the next five years. We'll see if we can make it. Very exciting. Thank you, right. Heather. Have a good day.